It's a food fight in Amherst. Food truck owners upset over fees and restrictions that they say hurt their bottom line. Plus, shakeup in Albany. A new report says Governor Cuomo may be trying to get rid of one of the most powerful people in our state capital. And the Bills have a new quarterback hit in the field this year. He's a veteran, but will he be able to help turn our team around? Two on your side at 10 starts now. Good evening and welcome to our first show on Fox 29. I'm Mary Alice Demler. High winds and rain are coming through tonight. And our Kevin O'Connell is in the Storm Team 2 Weather Center with the latest on the rain and what you can expect for your drive to work tomorrow. Kev? Mary Alice, we hit 65 degrees for a high today, but when the front started moving through and the rain started coming down, boy, so did those temperatures. Now, as this hour begins, we are starting a wind advisory for almost all of western New York. The only counties not under the advisory would be Cattaraugus and Allegheny. It runs until 4 o'clock in the morning. Wind gusts overnight while we're sleeping 20 to 30 maybe gust to 50 let's see if there's much in the activity in the gust department right now we have the flags that are flying above the corporate headquarters of new era in downtown buffalo and as you can see not an awful lot of very uh, strong winds just yet but then again we don't expect them until after midnight tonight we've been having rain all evening long and i have our lightning detection system on and you can see over southern ontario picking up quite a bit in terms of that lightning and up there in niagara county heaviest rain right now around Alcott, Newfane, moving over to Barker in another cell just about ready to cross Grand Island. Mary Alice, I'll see you uh, normally at uh, 10 18 and we'll be back to take a look at how long the warm weather is going to be here, the wet weather is going to be here, and those gusty winds as well. See you in a little bit. All righty. Thank you, Kevin. Well, we hear a lot about the three men in a room politics of Albany, a few powerful people cutting deals and making important decisions that affect your life. A new report claims that the governor wants one of those men out of the room. New tonight, Aaron Sakin is here to sort out the power struggle and what it means for you. When it comes to running our state government, they say most of the big decisions are made by three men in a room. Or These days we actually have four men in a room because we have two people running the state senate. Then there's the governor, obviously, and down on the end we have Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver. What this means is that nothing big gets done unless all four of these men sign off on it. Now there's two facts we should keep in mind about Speaker Silver. Number one, he's been the speaker now for 19 years. Number two, he's from New York City. And his critics say that he ends up taking better care of the city than he does upstate New York. He has power and he manipulates his power. And so uh, you cannot be against UB 2020. Name one person in the universe who was against UB 2020, Speaker Sheldon Silver. That's one of the reasons, one of the reasons why people in Western New York uh, have no affinity with him whatsoever. According to Monday's New York Post, Governor Cuomo has had enough of the speaker and he and his staff are looking for a way to get rid of him. It's a difficult year in Frank. Since becoming speaker in 1994, Sheldon Silver has been brokering deals with five different New York governors. But the latest, Andrew Cuomo, reportedly wants to be the last. According to the Post, Cuomo has been frustrated by all of the recent pay-to-play corruption in the state legislature, with almost a dozen assembly members charged or removed from office while Silver has been in charge. When asked on public radio Monday whether the report was true, Cuomo called Silver a partner, saying it's up to the legislature to choose its leader and that he won't interfere. When pressed further... Did you and your staff have any conversations about the speaker in light of these scandals, or would you prefer to work with someone else other than the speaker for whatever reason? We just did a budget. Uh, we just did a budget that I'm very proud of. It was a difficult budget with a lot of stress. Uh, so we just accomplished one of the uh, great feats. Uh, we've been bragging uh, all over the state about how we just got the third on-time budget, first time in uh, 30 years. So, no, it's going well. If Cuomo does want silver out... Remember the famous term that the Romans... If you strike a king, make sure you kill him. It is going to be impossible to take the speaker out because the rules of the assembly favor him. Because Silver, who's 69, was just re-elected speaker in January. South Buffalo Assemblyman Mickey Kearns was one of only two Democrats who voted against him. 
I think people have had enough, and I think we do need to see some changes in Albany. But Kern said the vast majority of Assembly Democrats are afraid to challenge Silver. But this might be a chink in the armor, and I do think the governor is strong enough, and it may take someone like the governor to initiate this. Possibly setting the stage for a political clash that could send shockwaves across the state. Aaron Sakin, Channel 2 News. A local teenager made sick from an E. coli infection is continuing his recovery at a hospital tonight. The good news is that 19-year-old Rob Ormsby Jr.'s condition is slowly getting better. He's been moved out of the intensive care unit, but he's still receiving regular dialysis and even blood transfusions. Ormsby's family says he's dealing with kidney failure, and they believe it was caused by the E. coli infection. While the health department is still conducting testing to confirm the recalled food is to blame, the family's attorney says they are certain it is to blame for Rob's serious sickness. If you missed it, we've got a list of the recalled food from Rich Products posted online at WGRZ.com. State police arrested a man from the South Towns after they say he made a teenager undergo a very cruel punishment. This is 45-year-old Gary Matthews of Elma. State troopers say he made a 15-year-old girl hold her hands in a bowl of bleach for a long period of time. The girl is being treated for some very serious burns at the hospital. Matthews is charged with assault and child endangerment. And we have some new information about the bomb scare on Elmwood Avenue this morning. Buffalo police say that they've arrested 36-year-old Titus Tallchief of Kenmore. He's facing felony charges tonight for placing a fake bomb in front of a vacant building. The road had to be shut down for close to an hour between Hurdle and Great Arrow, and people who worked nearby were evacuated until police learned the device was fake. Well, drivers will still want to listen up for a construction alert that could slow down your drive through Cheektowaga for the next few months. Erica tweeted us tonight asking about construction signs that went up this week on Union Road, and she wanted to know if it's a long-term thing. Well... It is. Union Road near the 33 will be down to one lane southbound starting tomorrow morning at 9 and one lane in both directions starting Wednesday. That will continue through the fall. Drivers getting off the 33 onto Union will have to follow detours. Well, Margaret Thatcher was England's only female prime minister, and tonight people from all over the world are remembering a woman called a true friend and ally. Up next, we take a look back at her life and her accomplishments. Plus, it is now a done deal. Coming up, we'll tell you which NFL quarterback will soon be hitting the field in red and blue at Ralph Wilson Stadium.